Captain's log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. Well, my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... through this one door. Well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Blast ye scurvy dogs! Stand back! You don't scare me, you mangy pirate. Brave talk, boy. But now you're face to face with the wicked pirate, Bloodnose. Are you wearing a fake beard? Bloodnose the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and... Audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. I'm not in the mood for sales hype. Here. At least take this literature. You may change your mind. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish. One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in. Peep. Yes, Gabra Swab. One more word, and I'll let you have it. Word. That's it. I'm gonna blast you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh. Oh, there, there. Watch 
Will you shoot me? That was me. Oh, sorry. I am sorry, you old. Oh, sorry about that. Oops, my fault. I'm getting pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. <laughs> well, they've messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> That's my arm. Give that back. Ha <laughs> 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 Taste cold steel, feeble cannon restraint rope. <laughs> Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world! <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> Neptune's navel! That was a close one! I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. <laughs>